Hi, I'm Sadie Nardini, founder of Core Strength Vinyasa Yoga. Welcome to my yoga sequence at the wall. We're going to use the wall today to strengthen, lengthen, and get a ton of core flexibility. So no matter what your level, you can do some aspect of this. I'll explain as we go. Let's begin. So especially if you're a beginner, grab two yoga blocks and just keep them by you. And I want you to do between three and five core sun salutations to get warmed up for this, at least. So you can come to the wall later on in your practice after 10, 15, or 20 minutes. That's the best. When you're kind of sweaty and warm, then you're ready to open up. So this will take you to that next level. When you find yourself in downward facing dog on your mat, you can either stop and take your mat to the wall or do your practice at the wall already. You want to end up here in downward facing dog with your heels facing towards the wall. Draw your shoulder blades on your back and slowly begin to walk your hands back a little farther. Now at this point, we're going to take the right leg up the wall, but keep the knee bent. You can lift your bottom heel, standing leg off the ground a little bit, so you're not going to overstretch into the splits right away. So maybe bend both knees, lift your bottom heel, and work on turning that top knee down to square the hips. Lift up into your navel, and bow your elbows down, folding it a little deeper. So it's most important to keep your torso long and your shoulders on your back and healthy before you worry about stretching the legs completely. So the legs come last. So to progress this pose, you can walk your hands in a little bit and creep your top foot up the wall, making sure to keep the top hips facing down, and then over time work on straightening the leg. Now from here, you can switch sides and do it again. And then maybe come into a resting pose here, a little child's pose for a moment to get off the arms. And when you're finished there in child's pose, you're obviously going to go a little bit uh, slower than me. So take your time in each posture. You'll return to that, bring the right leg up the wall, and this time a strengthening exercise for the arms, the legs, and the core. We're going to walk back a little bit, draw your shoulders right over your wrists here, and press the top foot into the wall. Exhale, draw your bottom foot up with your own strength. So at first, if you're a beginner, you might not even get the foot up, but that's okay. You're going to work on it. Exhaling, squaring those hips. Exhale, squaring the hips. And then switch it to the other side. Make sure the hips stay down. You're really drawing that bottom leg bone up into your hip socket. Squaring in. This is going to build great abdominal strength. After that, rest again in child's pose. Breathing. Also, to counter stretch between these postures, you can come here sitting on your heels and clasp your hands together, stretching here and exhale, folding in for a few breaths. Third sequence, coming back to that same area, you're going to bend one leg so your foot is right behind your sitting bone. You're going to press into your hands and maybe take the other foot. So beginners will just kind of, you know, be hanging here. You can even take your block and step on that just to get a little bit higher and step off. So you're practicing stepping on and off the block a few times, real strengthening for the arms. So from here, one foot is here. Intermediates, advanced students, you can come all the way up. So both feet are right behind the sitting bones, knees are bent. You're going to lift your navel and start extending through your legs. So your shoulders should be right over your wrist for this L-shaped pose. If your shoulders go too far forward, you're going to lose power. So just make sure you're in alignment, lifting up through your navel and extending through the heels. A few breaths here. Even taking one foot straight up and just letting your body feel what it is to be in a handstand. The other knee can be bent so you don't go flying. <laughs> and then exhale, gently come down. Now from here, keep your feet close, about two fists distance apart. Come to your fingertips and walk your hips to the wall. Heels are about three inches away, hips are on the wall. And you're going to slowly creep your fingertips back and fold here so you can keep your legs nice and straight. Maybe do a few waves. Beginners are taking these blocks, getting a little bit higher, and exhale folding. Really pressing those inner and outer thighs into the wall. Nice sense of grounding there. So over time, you come a little bit deeper. You really can press your fingertips forward. 
get a nice stretch in. And advanced students can bring the heels against the wall too and practice walking in for a nice forward fold stretch. All right. And the final couple of things, you're going to turn around. This is so good for the back. We usually use it for a beginner's posture, but it's great for everybody. I recommend it for even my most advanced students. So it's an L shape on your hands. And it gets kind of challenging to hold in alignment. Legs press straight down. Navel lifts a lot. And the heart expands through the arms towards the wall. Crown of your head really reaching. Draw those inner arms up and the outer arms up to root the shoulder blades and open your heart. So it's a balance between stretching and drawing into your core strength at the navel and the rib cage. Inhaling and exhaling here for as long as you can. You can try postures here too, like warrior three. Opening up, Ardha Chandrasana. Like to bend this wall elbow, stretching there. And then of course, walking yourself down to the floor. Try a standing split here. It should feel good after everything you've done. And then return to L shape at the wall. I'm already sweating. It's a great little workout too. So from here, really expanding. Take a deep breath in, do any posture you feel. You can try stuff out here, use your fingertips, maintain your nice balance, and folding in. And then the last thing I really love to do at the wall is forward bend on the floor. You straighten out your legs, place your feet flat up against the wall, roll your sit bone flesh back, inhale, offer, exhale, fold. Refrain from rounding here, you gotta keep your spine really straight. So lengthening through the crown of your head and then folding that whole line towards your legs over time. So the feet here really can't escape anywhere. They have to be flexed straight up. Pressing your feet down, inhales and exhales. And over time you'll go farther forward without losing the length of the spine. When you're finished there, roll onto your side. Get really close to the wall. This one's very awkward, but it pays off big time. Place a block. We'll have a block with you. As you roll to your back, feet on the wall, lift up. Block can be high, medium, low, wherever it feels good to you. I prefer to keep it the skinny way. So I've got this, the high block skinny or medium block skinny to really reset my sacrum at the lower, lower part of my hips back into the body. And then you're going to rest here in one of the most awesome and restorative postures of all time, legs up the wall. So being here, allowing your body to detox, allowing the legs to root down and soften the hips, allowing your low back to release, and everything else to just soften into the floor for a few breaths. I take at least two to five minutes here, allowing your body to reset completely. And when you're done, remove the block. You should feel a nice space on your lower back. Roll over one side or another and slowly press your way to sit. This is an awesome way to uh, use the wall to your benefit. Feels great already. So from me to you, I hope you enjoy it and uh, let me know how it goes. Namaste and thank you.